Hi, I'm Rebecca Coleman, and today I'm going to show you how to make coconut milk from scratch. Now, if you're anything like me, I, you probably love coconut milk. I almost, pretty much never, that I don't have um, a jar of coconut milk in my cupboard. Um, I use this in all kinds of things, so you would use it in, say, Indian cooking, if you're cooking Indian foods. Um, thai also uses, uh, Thai foods actually use quite a lot of coconut milk as well. I use it um, quite often as a substitute for cream uh, or milk when I'm cooking vegan. So, for example, I really like to make vegan soups, a squash soup, uh, that's a pureed soup, and you just add some coconut milk in at the end and it makes this beautiful creamy soup, um, which is really delicious and also the flavor of the coconut milk really adds to the soup as well. So, this is something I always have on hand. For people who are lactose intolerant, it's a great option. Um, I also make, um, I usually have coconut cream on hand as well, which is the heavier, um, thicker, fattier part of the milk of the coconut. And I usually keep this on hand as well. It's great for making any kinds of vegan desserts. So again, creme brulees, ice creams, uh, panna cottas are all really wonderful when you make them with this. Um, for people who are lactose intolerant, uh, you know, they often will drink um, nut milk, so almond milk, uh, soy milk, things like that. Coconut milk is another option for you to drink, for example, uh, if you want to drink milk or have milk on your cereal or milk in your coffee but you're lactose intolerant, coconut milk is another option. So. Uh, you can actually make coconut milk from scratch, believe it or not. You make it from a uh, regular bag of coconut that you can buy in the grocery store and water and your blender. That's pretty much all you need. There's a third thing that you need and that is a way to strain out any leftover coconut that's inside the milk because obviously you don't want chunky milk. Who wants chunky milk? That's gross. Um, uh, so I'm going to show you how to do that in a second. So it's actually really simple to do. Uh, I'm using my Ninja today. This is my uh, Ninja blender. I bought it a few months ago and I love it. I use it every day. It's a great little machine. Highly recommend it. Uh, what I'm going to do is I have here, this is a 7 ounce bag of unsweetened coconut flakes and it's really important that you buy the unsweetened stuff. Uh, if you want to add your own sugar in afterwards, that's great. You can absolutely do that, but then you have more control over how sweet it is. Um, and I think for most people, they prefer a more neutral milk without a lot of sugar in it, uh, especially if you're going to have it on your cereal and your cereal already has sugar, that kind of thing. So really simply, 7 ounce package of flaked coconut, unsweetened, dumb, tough recipe so far. Then the second thing that we're going to add is we're going to add four cups of water. Now, this, the water needs to be hot. It helps to soften the coconut a little bit when the water is hot. This is water that is just off the boil. So I boiled it already and I've just been letting it sit while I've been talking to you. We want four cups of this. Now what we're going to do is, instead of blending it right away, we're just going to let it sit for a few minutes. I want to let the hot water sort of soften up the coconut before we start to blend it. Okay, so now this has been sitting for a few minutes and um, it's getting sort of warm and milky looking, which is great. Uh, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to blend it. So I'm just going to put this on my blender and I'm going to put the top on. Okay, now I'm going to take this off and I'm going to take it off of my blender. And what I've got here is a bowl, bowl, and the bowl is, I also have a colander and the colander is lined with a J cloth. Now, um, you could use a couple of layers of cheesecloth for this. This is a brand new J cloth, by the way. Uh, it's not been used for anything else. Um, you could line it with a couple layers of cheesecloth, or you can also buy a nut bag. Um, and nut bags are specifically for this pur purpose, for making from scratch at home nut milks. So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to put that in there, and then I'm just going to pour this right in. do now 
now is it's going to start to strain out all or any or all of the solids that are still left in my coconut milk. You can actually pick it right up like this. Of course, you have to be careful if it's really hot. Um, but you can actually pick it up like this and you can sort of wring it out and sort of put some pressure on it to get the last little bits of the nut milk out of there. It's still pretty hot. When you're done and you've strained out all of the coconut, what you're left with is this really beautiful coconut milk. Um, now I would store this in maybe like a little mason jar in my fridge and enjoy it on your cereal, in your coffee. Um, you could even cook and bake with it. There you go. How to make your very own coconut milk.